Has your cargo train traffic been so backed up that you have no idea what to do? It's blowing your mind. Well, we've got a city just like that today. So let's dive in and see if we can fix it. So welcome everybody to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. The city that we're looking at today is sent in, has been sent in by Play-Doh. The city is called Rockwood. And as we mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be solving train traffic. So the actual traffic of the city, general car traffic, is pretty pretty good um but the trains are backed up like uh <laughs> like bilio i mean it's just absolutely nuts they've got nowhere to go they're stopping and it's just yeah it's ridiculous and we're going to solve that 77 percent on car traffic so that is pretty good there isn't a way of looking at train traffic as a percentage but you can see they're not moving at all anywhere so we're going to fix that if you want me to fix your city check out the pinned post below in the comments and that will tell you what to do and if you're wondering what mods i'm using uh there is actually going to be a pop-up in the top right hand corner of the screen here which will tell you about that you can click on that and check it out yourself so Let's just have a bit of a look here and see what's going on. So, I mean, if we just start here, for instance, we can pick a train and we can see which way are you going using this little traffic thing. And it will show you that this train is trying to go this way. So trains are traveling on the right hand side. It's going up here. This one isn't moving into here because there's a train in the way. And let's follow it up here. But this is all blocked up anyway. This is blocked up. This is blocked up. Then it wants to go around here, but it can't because this is blocked up. This is blocked up. Now, that's moving there. So, we've got this junction here. And it carries on and goes underground. Underground, underground, underground. Then it comes back above ground for for a second. But it's been blocked by these ones coming down here. And then it comes back down here and it's all blocked up again. So, yeah. Lots of things that need sorting. I mean, stuff like this, big no-no. You want to be able to have your trains moving around freely. And you did say that you've tried all sorts of things to get this problem sorted and just got nowhere. So let's go back to where we started. And we're going to try and sort of take this apart piece by piece and see what we can do to fix the problem. Now, one thing I have noticed, which isn't causing a major issue but you do have your lines without any bypasses going into your train stations there we go got a bit of daylight now and that would just mean any trains that don't want to stop at that station can nip past and it will stop this ever blocking up but that isn't your major issue any junctions that you have you want enough space in between this junction and that junction for a whole train to fit there we go something like that we've just got a bit more space in between the junctions that should be okay um let us move back along over here so you've got a big tangle of junctions again things like this i mean you've tried one way connections and all sorts of things i'll be honest i'm not going to touch all of that because your problem is mainly right let's take this little area here so what have we got we've got a cargo station with the trains coming in the net we've got a junction where some of the places are far too close to each other it's just blocking up trains we've got this line coming in we've got that line coming in we've got this line coming in and this one here so what we're going to do is we're just going to remove all of this here we go under ploppable i've got these train junctions here so i'm just going to hover over those so you can check the name yourself and look them up uh, online i mean this high speed train triangle when you've got a lot of space is particularly good if you've got a three-way junction coming in this little trumpet here is very good for trains not getting caught up on top of each other i'd like to put that one in here first so that is going to keep things moving from left to right and up and down with the trains as you can see it joins the track on the right side so trains are not having to cross over each other which is the biggest issue you've got with your train lines as you can see that will come off here join there and it's all on the correct side of the track of course we've got this underground one as well so let's just pop under here so actually do we even need that because we've got this other tunnel that comes up here and then splits off under here to come on that line so do you know what we could actually okay so we now have these two trumpet interchanges this one here goes underground uh let's do it this way it connects to this tunnel here which then connects to this area and before we had a split that came off there which we don't need anymore we're just going to use this one line 
and then the right hand side of this trumpet interchange connects it goes underground here and connects here this area i will sort out at some point and what you've got is this weird it looks like you've got two one-way tracks both going into each other so there we go and that will connect up to over here and then we want to just make sure this is all connecting properly which at the moment it isn't there we go okay so that's now connecting properly what that's trying to do and where it's trying to go, I don't know. We'll come back to that. There we go. So we've just moved it off that main road, which is always a good idea. Put it on the side here. And then we've got a nice long runoff on each side to keep anything moving that wants to come into there. And then you've got this connection here. I mean, this is... I mean, it's one of your biggest. It's your cargo airport hub. You are going to have so much cargo coming in and out of this. And you've just sort of got this little line joining up to there. So what I would perhaps do is... Okay, so I've put a different intersection in here. I've used the high-speed train triangle because you've got... Uh, you've got this one here, you've got your cargo hub here, um, and you've got your main line here, and then you've got this one down here. I probably could just do removing these a little bit further apart, but that should be okay. And then this goes down underground and connects up over here, if you really want your train lines coming in and out both ends. And then, yeah, that should just keep things moving. Yeah, it will do once we've solved what this problem is here. So these things are all backing up. Let's Let's check what's going on. So they're going underground, they're coming out here, they're backing up, they're backing up, they're backing up. So again, let's follow this along. Let's see where it goes. Right, you've got an underground train triangle. Let's just have a look at this train here. Look, it's coming around the corner. I mean, it just gets, just gets past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Move It mod. And we're going to take that there and we're just going to shift that along just a bit like that. And we're just going to shift that along. And then when you do stuff on the ground like this, you just want to keep an eye on it just to make sure the trains can still get in and out. So that can get in there. Let's have a look. Make sure he can get out the other end. That train's moved. He can get out because obviously you can't eyeball it and see what's going on. That's okay. So that's going to give us a bit more room. So then they're hitting this here. You've got another cargo train terminal. Yeah, your outside line is over here. So, I mean, could we purchase another square? We could. So let's purchase that one there. And I'm just wondering whether we could have an output here where trains can literally go out and join your outside line again. I think that might be a good idea. There we go. So I'll put another one of these high-speed train triangles in there. And that's going to connect over here. And hopefully what you'll start seeing is trains will come in and then they'll leave that way. I mean, we could even force them to do that by putting a one-way system in. And while we're waiting for that to sort itself out, we've got a junction here which I would like to work on uh we've got one line coming in here one line coming in there one line coming in here and one line there and i, I oh that's a road yes yeah. so we've got these four lines so what i am gonna do is right there we go so we've got all four lines connected up this one down here goes into that side that one carries on at the top this one curves around and connects up to this one and then that other one went to the other underground one I think there was under here somewhere. Yes, this one up here. That one there connects to that one. That was it. So these two lines. So that should just keep that area moving nicely. Okay, so here's the little line, uh, the two trumpets train interchanges we did before. But we're still getting problems with these trains here blocking up, coming all the way through here. So what I would like to do, I mean this is like an underground tunnel, is put an overground little interchange here because... As you can see, that is causing... Let's go back to the underground. That is causing all sorts of problems because that train on the top of this line... Uh, let's pick that. That train on the top of the line wants to go straight on, but he can't because this one's come down here and blocked him. So that's where these good interchanges come from. So if we could just get that moving, get that above ground, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to put an interchange in here. Okay, so I've put that in here. Just something worth mentioning. When you connect these up and put them in, you just want to check your junctions to make sure they're lined up okay. Because as you can see here, we've connected our train line. There we go. And now that line is connected. Let's just check over here. That's okay. It somehow managed to get a tree. So that's connected all directions. And that's connected okay. So now what we should see... is another tree in the middle of that. There we go. Now what we should see is... If we go back underground again... Uh, let's go this way. Is these trains, once they've sorted themselves all out, should now keep moving so there we go they come above they just keep flowing through and any that want to go around aren't blocked there we go look this one here is going that way 
and that should just keep things moving in that direction obviously we've got a problem going in the other direction if we follow this along yeah see they're all stopping here because the ones going straight on are having problems but once that all gets moving that is definitely going to solve that issue so i'm going to let this run for a minute or two ah uh, here we go look this connection here goes straight into this cargo train terminal with no means of a bypass round here so any trains going straight on are having to stop to be dropped off so what we need is a little bypass to go round to up here where this connects Okay, well, we are getting some trains bypassing this now, and this isn't blocked up this direction anymore. So let's follow it along this direction and see what's going on. They're moving, they're just moving slowly. So they get up to here, and then they get... Yep, see this one here? This is the direction we're looking at, and they're fine. So it's actually the other direction now that's causing the issue. So let's see if we can solve that problem. Well, let's use the built-in traffic tool. If you click on traffic routes here, have routes selected. Uh, let's not select a piece of road. Let's select a train line. So you can see where they're all going. So they're all coming along here. They're all coming along here. And it's all public transport and cargo. It's a shame that that's all sort of put into the same one we don't have one for trains but yeah cargo counts under there so it's all coming along here coming along here going through our super fast triple thing and then it's all just dead ending over here so this is basically where they're ending up is in this cargo hub and then they're going backwards and forwards and that is the way they're getting sent outside the city so what i would like to do is find another route for them to be able to get outside the city and we do have this line here that goes outside and this one here where does that go oh man the maze the maze on this is blowing my brain so that comes down here splits off round this one goes back under there and connects to here okay interesting so most of these trains all they want to do is go to the cargo hub and they're coming from so far away to do that that is, that is quite interesting that they'd rather go to the cargo hub. Would you know what that tells me? Is you need a nearer cargo hub. We've got this one there. Is it possible to add one over this side of the map? Right, I'm going to try a couple of things. I mean, you've already got this cargo train terminal. I'm thinking of changing that out for the cargo hub. There we go. So that's going to fit in there. We moved a couple of businesses, but yep, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Let us connect this line up over here. There we go, that'll do. We've got the way in there, and then you've got a way out as a one-way road, uh, one-way train track. I'm going to change that. Yep, and that'll give a way in and a way out, and then we can just sort of terraform this around here to make it look a little bit nicer with this tool. Well, you seem to have some escaped convicts here running across the map. Look, look at these guys and girls. Where are they heading? Let's, let's see, they're heading to the prison, which is all the way over there. Oh, so they're going back to prison. Okay, they were on day release, and they're deciding now to walk back to prison. Good. Well, at least they're at least they're heading in the right direction. Well, where are you? You're going to hide? Oh, they're back. They're not going to hide under the underpass. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, here they are. They're back. They're all heading in. Yeah, they're breaking in the same way that they broke out. Excellent. Okay, so some time has passed. And what's interesting is there's no longer that many trains coming in from the outside connection on this side of the city. Whereas before, we had a lot of that going on. Whereas what we're getting now is a lot of planes coming in, dropping off cargo. So we've just had that. We've had a few. There we go. Look, this guy here, he's going to drop off some cargo and they're going to get some trucks coming out. There we go. And taking it off. So that is good. So that means that there's less. I mean, you've got one here. That means there's less trains coming in than there was. So that has definitely lessened the traffic coming in. Um, I would still try and do something with junctions like this because it overall will slow things down. There we go. So I've got that in there. We've got the input coming in. We've got the output going up there. We've got these two. That one scoots around and goes up to here. And that one goes underground and goes to there. Like I said, I'm not redoing your entire train network. I'm just trying to make what you've got work. Don't forget as well, when you place something like this down, like I said, go and check the junctions. See, this one here isn't connected. But I think with a little bit of jiggery-pokery, can we get both connect in change the shape of that there we go excellent so that's now going in yep that's fine so everything's all connected up and working excellent and as we can see the train traffic is disappear disappeared disappearing it looks like it's all gone 
which is great. I'm just double checking that these are all connected up okay. Yeah, hopefully I don't miss anything because I know what will happen. I get a thousand comments in the description saying, oh my goodness me, you missed some major stuff. But I think we're doing okay. I really, I, oh my goodness me. I'm just, I just look at all this and I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? That splits to go over into here to come past and because it's not backed up i'm just going to leave that like it is i'm just not going to touch that with a barge pole you've also got a couple of cargo station terminals which are sort of dead ends which i'll be honest with you normally that's okay but one of the things with cargo train terminals unless you look I'm, I'm sure there's mods that will do this but you are literally limited by the speed that they go there's nothing else you can do so when these trains come in um this train can't go in until that one leaves although if he left this direction it would all happen just that little bit quicker which which might help with speeding things up a touch so what i'm gonna do let's just move that up there i'm gonna go page down here and we're gonna go underground there we go we're gonna go underneath here you've got metro things everywhere can we skip underneath that enough just about yep there we go and we're going to try and connect up to this rail over here so if we go there and then go page up let's go so we're outside there we go page up and we're going to connect up let's say connect up one to there and i wanted to connect one going the other way as well and uh, we should be able to do that if we sort of curve off down here like that we'll go underneath there and then connect up to there let's just make sure that looks okay yep that's okay that's okay so that's a nice big triangle there with plenty of space in between each of those and oh my goodness me and if you want to sort that out you can use the move it mod just to move things around as well i'll just do that for you and also, just to keep things moving here, I've made this track one way, just a little bit, coming in here. So the trains have to come in and then have to leave. I don't think we need a bypass, but hopefully that'll just clear up these trains that are coming into this junction and are blocking up everything else. That's a bit of a pain. Do you know what might actually work even better here? Oh, do we want to put in a train about? Right, I've used this train roundabout, it's just called, if you want to look that one up. And I've managed to hook up the four different ways in and out that that was going with. The only problem is, oh, look, it goes the wrong way. They're crossing over there. We'll, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'm hoping that that's large enough to take all the traffic that's sort of coming up here. And what with that being made a one way and this traffic having to go out and then join over here, train traffic I'm talking about, that should just keep that thing moving and already <laughs> already it's getting issues yeah let me just see how it goes right we're back to this station here this seems to be one of the ones that's causing a lot of the clogging up look it's coming down here they're coming under here they're waiting to get into this cargo train terminal what i'm just thinking is is we could probably make this a bit more efficient uh, and get these trains moving in and out and bypassing a bit better. So let's just work on this little junction here to help these guys out. Okay, hopefully this will work a little bit better. So we've got the main line coming through here. And it nicely splits off either way like this. So it can go up and down. And there's plenty of space between this junction and this junction to fit a train in and not block anything else. So that bypasses the cargo train terminal. And then underneath here, we've got this connection. I'm not entirely sure sure if that is connecting properly let me just do that and i know that will definitely be connecting properly now so that will go up there that will connect up to the cargo train terminal and then rather than just jam that line into here i've got that one coming down here and connecting over there a nice big runoff space and then again going down this way with a nice big runoff space to give space there we go look trains are coming down here it's working so hopefully that will just keep things moving off of this line that comes down there which will then keep other things moving nicely as well so things aren't moving too badly i mean we're getting it slows down in a couple of places but it's still moving it's not as blocked up as it was but the main issue you've got is you don't have your internal cargo network separated from your external network so what i'm going to do is show you i mean there's a couple of things you can do a lot of these guys here bringing in cargo 
all these from the outside and then it's coming over to a cargo train station then getting shipped uh taken via trucks around your city what i would do is separate your internal and external line so this is one of the places it comes in over here as i said i think you've got another line that comes in from external somewhere or is that literally it i think that might be it i mean you've got like these cargo hubs and stuff but all the other train lines look like it is just that one. So let's just try one last thing, which, like I said, without rebuilding your entire... Oh, here we go. Look, is this one here? Without re rebuilding your entire network... Yeah, this is the other one. This is something we can do. So let's do it in both places. I'll show you what we're talking about. And this is a cargo transfer hub. Oh, look, you can already see while we're talking that this is not backing up. <laughs> off site, off the map anymore. So things are actually starting to move a lot quicker everywhere. Do you know what? I don't know whether we're going to make this change or not. Yeah, let's do it. Because these are all external trains. Look. All external trains coming from Los Rico. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here we have a cargo transfer station. And I'll talk you through what I've set up here. So here's your external line coming in. This is a one-way rail. Uh, the train comes in, drops off the cargo, and then it leaves via a one-way rail, and it connects back over here so it doesn't cross over. So that can just keep moving smoothly. The trucks will come out and then drop some cargo off to the internal rail. There we go. Look. See? To the internal one. Now, some of these trucks are bypassing this, and I'm not entirely sure why, and I can't click them, which is rather weird. But anyway... Uh, you can stop that happening by not having a connection to the highway. I've got a connection to the highway as well. But as long as you put um, trash services on here, these trucks will just go round and round in the circle. That's how I'd normally like to do it. But anyway, so the trains come in here, the cargo's transferred, and then you get the cargo coming along here. And some of it, in this case, is going to be uh, driven in via trucks. And that is going to greatly reduce the amount of cargo trains that you're going to get on your internal network. And it's only been running a couple of minutes. And already, look, this has stopped backing up. It's stopped backing up. It's absolutely working brilliantly. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of backing up in some places just because, as we said, the cargo train terminals run so slowly. There's not much we can do about that. But overall, that is, I think, going to solve your issue. And just for sake of argument, let me show you how you can set this up with absolutely no connection to a road network at all. These trucks are just going to go round and round in a circle like this. The cargo will come out, the cargo will go in. These will go back round, drop cargo off down here. Yep, and that will definitely keep your external lines very, very separate from your internal lines, which is good because quite often you will get trains that will go through your network all the way through to the other side of your city, clogging things up. Now, if you're going to do that for cargo and you still want passengers coming in from the outside, then you want to do a similar thing with your passenger line as well. Okay, and now I've done the same for passengers coming in. I've just branched this line off here going into this station that allows intercity trains. And then this one doesn't allow intercity trains while it's not connected to the outside network anyway. And then all we need to do is run a line... Uh, from this one into the city and you want that really go into a nice big transport hub and I know somewhere in here if I can find the blooming thing you've actually got a great here we go uh, this is the one I'm looking for you've actually got this in here so I'm going to connect that to there and then all the way back to over here again yep that's fine complete the line there we go that line is complete we've already got trains appearing although I don't think there's going to be any any people on them yet and I've just got a path going from one side to the other so any trains that come in can drop off their passengers and they can come into the city. So let's just give it a second for some passenger trains to turn up. And ideally, you'd want to do this on every single uh, external to internal train line you've got. I mean, you, you can set it up a bit neater, but this is what I've just thrown together. And of course, we had the other train line, the other side that was coming into the city somewhere. You would want to do the same on this as well, this one over here. So just taking a look around at the train lines, we can see these are all pretty clear. There's nothing backing up over here, which is the worst offender, these ones down here. Because we've removed all that external rail traffic with all the industrial stuff from that side of the city we've still got a bit of a i mean it's busy it's busy but it's moving that's good none of this rail is backed up none of this rail is backed up again busy just got one train waiting there i mean that's not the end of the world much much better than it was before this is super busy down here 
because again what you've got is external cargo coming in and then wanting to get through to the city so i would add an internal external loop on here the same as we've done before just to try and keep things separate but overall i think that is a winner and your traffic your normal traffic is still 77 78 percent so i am pretty pleased with that what do you reckon what would you have done different let me know in the comments below if you would like me to take a look at your city don't forget to check out the pinned comments and look at the video that's on the screen as well i'm sure you will really enjoy that thank you very much for watching i will see you all very soon take care Bye bye